Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a PDF editor that is loaded with features and that will make working with PDFs a breeze. UPDF is a powerful and easy to use PDF editor. It has features like annotation, editing, conversions, OCR, protection, form filling, signing, and it even has a built-in AI chat. It runs on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Plus you can install on up to four devices with just one account making it super convenient and seamless to use across all your devices. UPDF is a great alternative to Adobe, offering a bunch of functionality at a much affordable price. Let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how UPDF works. Okay, so this is UPDF. So here is sort of like the home page that you first get when you open it up. We're just on recent over here. So it's gonna display any PDFs that you've been recently working on. Up here, you can either drop and drag files or you can click and browse your computer to find the PDF files that you wanna work on. So I've already got my PDFs up here open and ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll open up this PDF document, which is called white paper. And if you look over the side here, we have a toolbar. And in this toolbar, you can see this is the reader view. We have comment, edit PDF, prepare form, redact, organize pages, crop pages, and page tool. And then right down the bottom here, we have thumbnails, bookmark, and attachments. So the first thing I wanna show you is we're on reader view. So this is the view that you will be in when you first open a PDF and you just wanna browse through it and read it. So when you're in reader view, you can actually read through your document document and you can do some annotation. So you can highlight anything and then this toolbar will appear and you can use the highlight feature. And so you can see here now it's highlighted the text and we can actually change the color of that highlight to whatever we like. And then we can click over here and we can add a note. So you could leave yourself a note so we'll just say change text so we can refer back to that later and we know this is what we want to change and so if we hover over it you can see our little note right there another thing you can do in reader mode is if you are scrolling through your document and you find that there's something you don't understand in there you can actually highlight it and then you can see over here we have some AI features and we have summarize translate and explain so if we click explain it's actually going to explain what we've highlighted. So this is a really handy feature to have and you can also hit regenerate and it's gonna explain it in another way. So another really good AI feature is the summarize feature. So let's just say we don't want to read this page. We can select the text on this page and we can go summarize and this is gonna summarize the page for us. And then you also have translate. So if we highlight this, we can click this drop down and go translate. And there are heaps of different languages you can translate to. So we could go French and it's going to translate this in French for us. So having AI features built into your PDF editor is something that's really gonna speed up your workflow. It's gonna save you a lot of time from researching things online or having to use something like Google Translate or having to sit there and reading through a really large document when you can just summarize the document and get all the information you need a lot quicker. And also in the reader view, you can use the slideshow mode. This is also known as presentation. So if you want to present your PDF to a group of people, maybe on a projector screen, you can select slideshow mode and this will open it up in a full screen and then you can click through your slides and do a presentation. So I'll quickly show you comment. So we'll click here. So when we're on reader and we would highlight text, we have this toolbar here but if you want more tools and markups to help when working with documents, you would come to comment. And here you have sticky note, highlight, strike through, underline, squiggly, text comment, text box, text call out, pencil, eraser. You have shapes, uh, you have stickers. So there's a whole heap of different stickers in here that you can add to your PDF documents. Here you can attach files, you have stamps, they have a bunch of built-in stamps and then you can also add your own custom stamps and then you also have signature so you can add your own signatures in here. So if we just go back over to our toolbar and we're going to go down to edit and in here you can modify any element in your PDF and you can even keep the formatting. So let's just say we're reading through this document and we wanted to change this word to something else you would just highlight it and start typing. 
It's going to keep all of the formatting, it's going to make it the same size as the rest of the paragraph and keep it in the same font. So the other thing you can do is change photos. So if you come over here and click on an image you want to change, you have a few different things you can do. Um, you can actually extract the image out and save it. You can crop the image or replace. So if we want to replace the image, we're going to click on this and you can browse your computer and find what image you want to replace it with. So let's just say we want this one and we go open and it's going to replace the image. So then if we want it to fit a little bit better, we can come in here and we can crop it and sort of resize it and there super easy to replace images. Okay, so next we're gonna look at a really great feature called OCR text recognition. So here you can see I have a scanned in document, which is just an image um, of a newspaper article. And if I click on it, I can't actually select any text because it's just a flat image. If I come across to the side here and click on OCR, I can actually scan this document and it is going to turn all of this text into searchable text. We can pretty much just leave all these settings for this example and we're just going to go perform OCR and then it's going to ask you to save um, a copy of this document and you can see here it's just added OCR so you still have your original and then we're going to have an OCR version. So we'll just go save and then it's going to convert it and see how it's opened up another PDF with OCR. So we have our original over here, which we can't highlight. And we go to the OCR version, just zoom out a little bit. And now you can see we can highlight the text. Um, if we come across to edit, we can actually edit the text. Even the image has become selectable now, so you can replace images, you can extract the image. So now you have a complete editable PDF and you can even use this search feature now and search throughout this article to find something that you're looking for. So yeah, OCR is a really good feature. Okay, so the last few things I wanted to show you are located down this menu here. So the first one is export to PDF. So you can actually export your PDF document into any of these formats, which is really handy. If you exported it to a Word document, it would save as a .x and then you can open it up in Microsoft Word and edit it just how you normally would in Word. Okay, so the next one is protect using a password and this is where you'll be able to add passwords to your PDF, which is a really great security feature for sensitive documents. And then if we go down again, we have share file with others. And this is a really great one. So if you didn't know, UPDF has a cloud feature. So you can actually save your PDF documents to the cloud. So if we just hit this little icon here, we, we can go save to UPDF cloud. Then it's going to make this document available across all of our devices. So I'll be able to open it and continue working on my phone or my tablet or even on a MacBook. So if you have added your PDF document to the cloud, you can actually share it with others using a link. So this is really good, especially if it's a really large PDF and you can't send it via email, you can share it using a link. Then the next one is send via email. And when you click on this, this is just gonna open up whatever email app you use and attach the PDF document straight in there. So you can start typing up your email and send it off. And then in here we have save as other, and this is gonna give you a whole bunch of save features. So you can save as, you can save to the PDF cloud here as well. But a really handy feature in here is reduce file size. So if you click on this, we have a few different options. So maximum is gonna be the highest quality and then we have medium and low. So this is already a pretty small PDF document, so we don't really need to compress it. So if you're working with a really big PDF document and you want to compress it a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to send or store somewhere, you can drop down the quality of the document to make the file size a bit smaller. So that's it for this video. UPDF do offer other features that we didn't go over in this video, like redacting, PDF form building, and page organization. So to see all of the features they have available, you can go over to their website and check that out there. And if you wanna go try UPDF for free, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're keen for the full experience, the paid options offer great value and they give you access to all the features. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.